हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इनफॉर्म्ड कंसेंट प्रोसेस एंड प्रोसीजर राइट सो इनफॉर्म्ड कंसेंट मींस इन ड्यूरिंग द क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स द पर्टिकुलर रिसर्च रिव्यू टीम दे आर गोइंग टू रिक्रूट द पार्टिसिपेंट्स फॉर द पर्टिकुलर डिजीज पेशेंट दे आर गोइंग टू रिक्रूट सो दैट द न्यू केमिकल इंटिटी कैन बी टेस्टेड ऑन टू देम इन द फेज वन फेज टू एंड फेज थ्री सो ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम द कंसेंट फॉर्म दे हैव टू फील लाइक दे आर गोइंग टू बी द रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड दीज आर द रिसर्च न्यू केमिकल इंटिटी दे आर गोइंग टू एडमिनिस्टर्ड एंड दोज थिंग्स दे शुड बी अवेयर दैट्स वॉट इट इज कॉल्ड इनफॉर्म्ड कंसेंट प्रोसेस सो लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन द टॉपिक इट इज द इनफॉर्म्ड कंसेंट प्रोसेस एंड प्रोसीजर राइट सो वॉट इट इज एक्चुअली इनफॉर्म्ड कंसेंट इज द प्रोसेस इन विच अ हेल्थ केयर प्रोवाइडर और द रिसर्च टीम educates a patient right they are going to educate they are going to tell about the research which going to conduct on to them about the risk benefits and alternatives of a given procedure or intervention or research right so uh, uh, in phase 1 uh, say for example in phase 1 uh, under 100 uh, they are going to take the healthy human volunteers so those healthy human volunteers from there they will get from the society only from the community only so they are going to tell uh, that these are the uh, new chemical entity it is for diabetes or it is for the cancer we are going to use on to you people and uh, so and on right so the patient must be competent to make a decision voluntary decision right he, uh, he must be he must or she must be competent to make a voluntary decision about whether to undergo the intervention or research or the procedure or not if it is risky if it is the life threatening something he feel so he can deny right so that's what uh, nothing should be hidden over there they have, we have to tell the particular person that these are going to be the part right so uh, basically uh, these are the uh, main uh, thing which will be there into the consent process and the procedure the first one it is the requisites means participant must have the capacity to understand first of all he should be little bit literate that he will be able to understand like nowadays you can see during the vaccination time so many uh, peoples uh, from rural and urban areas they denied the vaccination and uh, uh, the health care provider the health professionals they have struggled a lot to vaccinate them right so uh, those who are going to be the participant they should be having that much of uh, 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 capability to understand that what is going to happen and once they understand then only they they should sign without understanding uh, just because of the money or for uh, the wages what they are going to get uh, if because of that only if they are signing that is not ethical the second one essential information for participants what are the mandatory information that participants should know detailed information in local language of suppose they understand telugu they understand hindi they understand bengali gujarati marathi tamil whatever the language they understand wherever the clinical trial it is going to be conducted they should understand into their local it should not be always talk into the english and uh, any other language which they don't understand so that is very important here the third one is the responsibility of researchers those who are uh uh the responsible person responsible professionals involved in the phase 4 study or in clinical trial what are the responsibility consent form they should compulsory they should take uh, then sensitivity study of that particular individual whether they are sensitive to this particular new chemical entity or new drug that should be also then ethical committee approved version of the protocol they are supposed to use that is their responsibility fourth one documentation of informed consent process everything has to be documented properly because uh, these are the risky thing which they are going to do obviously so uh, there should be the record for everything the witnessed form with date and signature or thumb if they are not uh, educated enough so uh, witnessed that's what witness supposed to be there everywhere whenever we are claiming the lic maturity claim there also we need to have the witness any registry we have to have the witness anything uh, where uh, the witness is required same here some witness it is required they should sign that yeah he or she is agreed to be the part of or be, to the participant of the clinical trial and we are the witness what is the date when they have signed all those thing has to be recorded then fifth one electronic consent that's what electronic uh, 
uh, ECDD also we have uh, uh, studied like electronic uh, common technical documents. So in that way only the text, graphics, audio, video, electronic media has in, in electronic media it has to be preserved. It may be any website, it may be any app, it may be any other electronic device where it can be preserved like a uh, Consent form may be in video also that I am agree to accept that I may be the partic I am going to be the participant of this clinical trial which will go on from July 1st to uh, August 19th, something like that. Okay. Then uh, sixth one is specific issues in clinical trial like CDCSO uh, if they are going to handle if any specific issue it which is arising during the study that is also there then waiver of consent like in emergency situation uh, maybe uh, in COVID situation or uh, COVID situation also so many uh, clinical trial it was going on not on to the COVID-19 but on to the cancer HIV and uh, these that right so in that situation disaster is various flood uh, earthquake something like that can't uh, can't practically be carried out so in those those kind of situations some kinds of holding or some uh, fluctuation it is going to have into the clinical trial uh, study <coughs> eighth one reconsent or fresh consent when new information it is coming on about the new chemical entity or about the study which going on then uh, unconscious regain consciousness during the study suppose the particular individual the participant it has it has gone to the unconsciousness and again they have gone came into the consciousness so they should be they should sign the again uh, the consent form because the old one he may forget or something like that okay so then uh, ninth one the procedure after the consent process like uh, uh, here psi and icf this has to be achieved uh, whatever the consent form it is there those consent form uh, it has to be documented properly into the electronic media right then a special situation for example uh, community consent sometimes uh, one person who is going to be the participant he may uh, may be agree but their community where from where he belongs uh, they may not be agreed so in that situation uh, the particular research team has to take the consent from the community particular community then the the vulnerable person incapable right so sometimes they will uh, they are agree but uh, during the study they may be incapable or some other uh, problem it will arise so those are comes under the special situation in that case, case also it is going to be have some fluctuation right so basically the informed consent process and procedure it says that the person who is going to be the participant of the clinical trial he should be aware and uh, the research team the board uh, which are the uh, responsible committee for the conduct the clinical trial they should have the uh, 